given p equal to 4i minus j plus 8k and q equal to 2i minus mj plus 4k. Find m if p and q have the same direction. 2.9. Upon what's lela hai? And in the problem, it is given that there is a vector p which is 4i minus j plus 8k. And there is another vector q that is 2i minus mj plus 4k. So, and they are saying that p and q are in the same direction. So, we are asked to find the value of m. Now, this, the x component of p, px is 4. The y component of p, which is minus j, so it is minus 1. And the z component, of the vector p is 8. Similarly, the x component of the vector q is 2. The y component of the vector q is minus m. And the z component of the vector q is 4. Now, we know that when two vectors are in the same direction, their corresponding components must be in proportion. That is, these components should be in proportion. That is, Px upon Qx is equal to Py upon Qy. That is equal to Pz upon Qz. These all components are in the same proportion. Now, Px is 4 upon Qx is 2. Py is minus 1 and Qy is minus m and Pz is 8 and Qz is 4. So, this is, we can cancel here also. So, this is 1 and this is 2. And this is 1 and this is 2. So, this is 2 by 1. That is equal to minus 1 upon minus m. That is equal to 2 by 1. So, this is. Apan hechatla ekats equality gehu shakto. And this becomes plus. Minus minus plus. So, 2 is equal to 1 upon m. Or therefore, 2 is equal to 1 upon m. Therefore, m is equal to 1 upon 2. So, the value of m. The value of m is 1 upon 2 or 1 by 2. So, in this way, we can, we have found out the y component of the vector q. Two vectors, vector p and vector q have magnitudes 3 units and 4 units respectively. Vector r is the resultant of vector p and vector q. Find the magnitude and direction of vector r, that is the resultant vector, when the angle between vector p and vector q is 30 degree. And in the problem, it is given that there is a vector p, so the magnitude of p, that is mod of p, or the magnitude of p is 3 unit, and magnitude of the vector q, or mod of q, is 4 unit, and the angle between the vector p and vector q is 30 degree. And we are asked to find the magnitude of the resultant. Tya dogan the vectors, the so resultant vector hai. Then sa magnitude ki, tya vector sa magnitude ki tiya hai. Ani to jo resultant vector hai, techi direction ki tiya hai. He apela find karala sangit lela ahe. Now, we have the formula which we have devised in the earlier uh, videos. That is, R is equal to the resultant. This is the magnitude of the resultant vector. So, the magnitude of resultant vector r is under root of p square plus 2 pq cos theta plus q square. Now, so r is equal to p, p is 3, so 3 square plus 2 into p is 3 and q is 4 into cosine of the angle between them that is 30 degree, so cos of 30 degree plus 4 square that is q square 
So, R is equal to under root of 3 square that is 9 plus 4 3s are 12 and 2 24 cos of 30 degree plus 16. But what is cos of 30? Cos of 30 is under root of 3 by 2. Apalama iti apan 10 standard, 9 standard madhe chikle loa hai. So, root 3 is 1.732 upon 2 that equal to 0 0.8660. So, equal to under root of 9 plus 9 plus 24 into cos of 30 that is 0 0.8660 plus 16. So, R equal to jeva tumi calculate ke karal तेवा आपला आंसर में तो 45.784 units under root of 45 under root of 40 so we get under root of 45.784 so r is equal to equal to 6.766 unit so we have found the magnitude of the resultant vector r we are going to find the direction of the resultant vector r. So, the formula we have that is tan of alpha is q sin theta upon p plus q cos theta. This is the formula. So, upon angle. So, upon the tan of tan ikrunikre shift kela. So, tan inverse. So, alpha that is the direction of the resultant vector r is tan inverse of q sin theta upon p plus q cos theta. So, alpha is equal to tan inverse q, q is 4, sin of, the angle between them is 30, so sin 30 upon p, p is 3 plus q, q is 4, p is 3. So, alpha is tan inverse 4 sin of 30 upon 3, p is 3 plus q is 4 cos of 30 degree. So, alpha is tan inverse. Now, this is 4. We know that sin of 30 is 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5 and cos of 30 is root 3 by 2 that is equal to 1.732 that is equal to upon 2. So, that is equal to 0 0.8660. So, we put the values of sin 30 is 4 into 0 0.5 upon 3 plus 4 into cos of 30 is 0 0.8660. So, after we calculate this, we have calculation scale and we answer tan inverse 0.3090. Calculations के लिए नतरा पहला answer में ते यह point alpha मा आता आप लेला काई कर रहाई चाहे तो logarithms मदे जाई चाहे आणि logarithms मदे आप लेला tan inverse natural tangents मदे जाई चाहे आणि natural tangents मदे आप लेला हा जो ही जी figure रहे point 3094 ही बगाई चाहे थे थे आप लेला natural tangents मदे बगितला नंतर अपना ये अल्फा ची जी वैल्यू आए ती अल्फा ची वैल्यू दिस इज अ पेज ऑफ नेचुरल टेंजेंट्स फ्रॉम द लॉक टेबल बुक हियर वी कैन सी दैट टैन ऑफ 17 डिग्री 12 मिनट्स 
is 0.3096 which is nearest to the required number 0.3094 hence we consider the angle alpha as 17 degree 12 minutes aplyala milte 17 degree and 12 minute is the value which is found manje we have found the direction of the resultant vector manje aplyala tanni ek p vector dila ek q vector dila apan त्यांचा रिझल्टंट मॅग्निट्यूड काढला त्याचा तो रिझल्टंट त्या दोघांचा जो रिझल्टंट फॅक्टर मिळाला त्याचा आपण मॅग्निट्यूड फाईन केला आणि रिझल्टंट फॅक्टरची आपण डायरेक्शन फाईन केलेली आहे द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लेम इज वी आर गिव्हन टू व्हेक्टर्स पी व्हेक्टर पी अँड व्हेक्टर क्यू पी इज व्हेक्टर पी इज टू आय प्लस थ्री जे मायनस के अँड व्हेक्टर क्यू इज टू आय मायनस फाईव्ह जे plus 2k we are asked to find the p vector p plus the addition of the two vectors that is p plus q and 3p minus 2q so first of all we will find p plus q so p is 2i plus 3j minus k plus 2i minus 5j plus 2k so apan p ani q lihun ghetlele ahet now jasa aplyala jar kai phal mojayche asli tar aplyakade jar aplyakade kai phal astil manje aplyakade kai mangoes astil kai oranges astil आणि काही ॲपल असतील तर मग आपण अजून फळं समजा तीच फळं परत आणली तर मग आपण मँगो मँगो मध्ये ऍड करतो आणि मग आपण त्याचं उत्तर सांगतो ॲपल ॲपल मध्ये आपण ऍड करणार आहे आणि मग त्यांचं सांगणार आहे की एवढे ॲपल आहेत एवढे मँगो आहेत एवढे ऑरेंजेस आहेत सिमिलरली वी हॅव टू ऍड सिमिलरली दिस इज द कोइफिशियंट फॉर द एक्स डायरेक्शन अँड दिस ऑल्सो इज द कोइफिशियंट ऑफ द एक्स डायरेक्शन that is the i direction or the x axis mag apan x axis che components add karnar y axis che components add karnar ani z axis che components add karnar so p plus q is equal to apan rearrange karnar x axis che components ekatr lehnar y axis che ekatr lehnar ani z axis che ekatr lehnar so 2i plus 2i plus 3j minus 5j minus k plus twice k so p plus q is equal to 2i plus 2i that is 4i plus 3j minus 5j is minus 2j so here we write minus 2j and minus k plus 2k is plus k so plus k so we have found out the value for p plus q the next we have to find the value for 3p minus 2q so the next is to find the value of 3p minus 2q now so this is 3 into p p is 2i plus 3j minus k minus 2 q is 2i minus 5j plus 2k now we multiply this is the scalar this is a number and this is also a number so we multiply it so we get 6i plus 9j minus 3k here we get minus so this is 2 into 2 4i 5 twos are 10 minus 10j plus 4k so this is 6i 
plus 9j minus 3k. So, minus apanad get lele So, minus 4i minus minus plus plus 10j minus 4k. So, we get 6i added to I, add, I added to I, J added to J and K added to K. So, 6I minus 4I plus 9J plus 10J minus 3K minus 4K. So, we get 6i minus 4i that is 2i plus 9j plus 10j that is 19j and minus 3k minus 4k that is minus 7k. So, we have the found the value of 3p minus 2q. So, the value of 3p minus 2q is found to be 2i plus 19j minus 7k. Thank you.